Okay. Uh, today we're going to be playing around with GIMP. This is just me playing around, you know, practicing. Uh, I'm just going to create a simple little street sign here. So I'm going to uh, create a new image. I'm going to make a pretty low resolution. Obviously, you can do higher if need be. I'm just going to do uh, 256 by 256. And I'm going to choose my background here. I'm going to say add alpha channel, control A to select all, and then I'm going to hit delete to delete the background. I could have started off with transparent image when I created it, but I didn't. Uh, next, I'm going to go up to select, and I'm going to say rounded rectangle, and I'm going to set this to 25. And what this does, I don't know if you can see, the selection now is a curved cornered rectangle. So what I'm going to do here is I am now going to choose my fill bucket and I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to choose a yellow. Uh, you know, If you're going for realism, you might want to sample from an actual image because uh, really uh, street signs are more of a yellowish orange somewhere in the middle there, I believe. But I'm just going to fill this in as yellow. Next, I'm going to do selection shrink. And I'm going to shrink it five pixels. Now I'm going to change my color to black and fill that in. And then I'm going to select shrink again and I'm going to shrink another five pixels and go back to choosing yellow and fill that in. And now we have the border of our image. So at this point, I'm going to increase uh, the canvas size. So I'm going to size it up. I'll set it to, um, I think 350 should be big enough, uh, but I'll probably end up trimming that. And we'll click center and resize. At this point, I can hit control A to select all and then uh, shift R to rotate and we'll just type in 45 and hit enter and then click rotate. Uh, at this point it looks like it's trimming off the edges here that's because of the size of that layer. Uh, I'm just going to click and create a new layer here. So at this point we have this and I can actually at this point uh, press shift C and do some cropping to crop away excess empty space here. So like so. And here I can see my cropping size is 336 by 336. So it's nice and square. I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And that didn't work. Uh, <laughs> let's try it again. Uh, Shift C. I think it's because I was uh, clicked on the panel over there rather than the image. Let's see. And I'm going to now hit enter there we go make sure you selected the image when you uh, go to crop okay and at the point this point I'm going to eyeball a lot of stuff um, but I'm going to use these rulers so I'm going to click on the ruler here and drag over a guideline I'm going to do the same thing and draw a second guideline I'm going to do the same from the top draw two guidelines I'm just going to make a sign for an upcoming intersection and again, I'm eyeballing this right now. If you can be more accurate with numbers, if you'd like. Um, yeah, so there's that. And now I'm going to select some of it with the rectangle select tool. Just trying to make it even. And then I'm going to hold down shift and select. And I can tweak these a little bit. But as long as it looks good. I'm going to choose my fill bucket, switch back to black once again, and fill that on in. And there we go, we have a simple 2D uh, street sign. So again, this is just playing around. In the next video, uh, next two videos, probably going to be doing stuff in Blender. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to split up into two videos, probably just do one um, where I'm making a 3D stop sign, or street sign, using this 2D image, and uh, one using a flat plane, and then I'll also show you uh, a, a way of creating a uh, curved rectangular shape uh, in Blender. I'm sure there's more than one way to do it, but I'm actually going to use something, uh, uh, a path that I will import from Blender. Anyway, that's it. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.